Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education, here with your answer, okay? 45-year-old female comes in, right-sided ear pressure for two weeks, no recent sinus infection. Um, she was having some fluctuation in her hearing, and oh, by the way, I get a little dizzy, a little off balance sometimes, okay? First of all, what's the most common thing we think of when we see, when we hear ear pressure? We're thinking eustachian tube problems, right? The eustachian tube connects the back of the nose with the space behind the eardrum. So yes, when people have upper respiratory infections, they're gonna get some fullness. It is rare for adults to get true middle ear fluid, and that's something I'm really trying to, to hone in on. Um, that being said, with COVID, yes, it is a little bit more common, okay? So what does this patient have? She did not have fluid, she did not have any eustachian tube problems. So let's take a look. Here's her eardrum right here, okay? This is sclerosis. A lot of people aren't too familiar with this, and I wanna really hone in on this, that this is not fluid. This is just some scarring, some calcification of the eardrum, okay? And when, when we moved it, watch, when we move the eardrum, or excuse me, puff some air in it, watch the movement here. That confirms, when you see parachute-like movement on that, on pneumatic otoscopy, there is no fluid there. So what does this patient have? She has endolymphatic high drops or early on set of Meniere's disease, okay? That's kind of ear pressure, fullness, no middle ear fluid, no sinus issues. Sometimes you'll get fluctuation in your hearing. Sometimes you'll get tinnitus. And yes, sometimes you'll get vertigo, okay? Attacks of vertigo lasting hours to days. My whole point in this illustration, this instruction, is that not all ear pressure is eustachian tube dysfunction, and very rarely is it true middle ear fluid. Oftentimes, middle-aged middle females will have early onset of Meniere's disease, or another word for it is endolymphatic high drops, and that can give you eustachian, excuse me, that can give you ear pressure. Thanks so much. Please check out my ENT course at compasiomedical.com. I hope you're having fun with these examples.